You can me. Hello. Let's just put the headphones immediately. Hi. Yes, I can, can hear you. you. Yay! Bingo. So we are on. Great. So I'm just yeah, a little bit just, dark. Like, let think. me just switch I mean, a bit. Have enough light? Because Ooh. I'm on the contrast. Like, this is better. In everyone's face. Yes, that's much better. Much better. Yes, that's much better. Yay. Hello, Debbie. I see some ladies are coming. It's good. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Hi. Now it's much better. Yeah. Wait, you're frozen Let's a little me... bit, I think. No? Oh, I also stop it with the camera. Yeah. Okay, we're losing the connection, I guess. Fine. Let's go ahead because now it's raining. It's yeah, it might a little bit ruin the connection, I guess. Are can, you can you hear hi, me okay? Hi. Can I is, now I can Okay, cool. Can it's getting well, a little yeah? bit, I'm not sure why. Well, I don't know how where how exactly what is the weather back where you are now on at my place it's raining so that might affect you know some so yeah some, i mean here it's not great so that's it's, why it's yeah it's a bit uh the the, the sky is gray so yeah. it's gonna happen soon <laughs> <laughs> i know i know it's official expect, now so, it's yeah. officially over <laughs> it's now officially over so well we had a couple of weeks and thank you thank you for that so that's enough. <laughs> now back to the weather that Red is famous for. <laughs> okay. So Maya, first of all, I really wanted to say thank you that you agreed to do that. Uh, and I really, um, I have like lots of questions, not only from my side, but I know that. Um, oh, well, well thank you. <laughs> person to be honest. So I, think, be, you, I think all the belly dancers, <laughs> like when you are a belly dancer, you must have an interesting life, um, I suppose. That's true, yeah, that's true. But it's not just, you know, being a ballet dancer, it's about, like, my maintaining everything, you know? So be kind of to be, um, uh, and, and, a, and like, a normal, proper person, and then a ballet yeah. dancer, and maybe a mom. And so we're going to talk about it definitely. So how we all, how we do that, all of this stuff all together. So, yeah. And this is why my question. So usually the interview is one hour, but... To be honest with you, we always go a little bit more. But let's, I will try to keep it like shorter. Otherwise, when it's two hours, it's just too much. Might be too much. Though it's very, very interesting. It's always interesting to talk. That's like never-ending process. So I will start right now. First of all, a question that just like to warm up. What is the right spelling of your name? Because I know. Also your I know. Website. This is like so confusing. It's my fault, though. <laughs> it's confusing for everybody. This is because my the right spelling of my uh, name that I was born with is Mayel, M-A-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, with the two little dots on the E. So this is the French way. Uh -huh. I was born with that name. Yeah. But when I moved to UK, first of all, it was so difficult for everyone to pronounce it. Everyone, because it's, uh, it's, it's Mael in French. Mael, but no one could say it properly. Everyone would say Mayel. So, yeah, oh, so Mayel, because the A and Mayel. E in French, like you pronounce A and E, but in English, it's just like the, it became a Y in between. And then, uh, so I started to, uh, everyone would call me Mayel, Mayel, and then I, I started to, to, to keep, uh, so if someone would ask me, like, how, how do you spell your name? Or sometimes for booking, people would say, oh, so what's your name? Or I would say Mayel. And now I just took the habit of saying Mayel, and it's not even my name. It's just become my stage name in a way. And uh, so it's completely different the way you say it to the French, but so it's kind of both ways. Both way goes like I'm Mael. Mael is like me, my, so, like my yes. everyday life. But then when for performing, I use Mayel just because it's easy. it seems to be easier for everybody. I totally understand because yeah. I had to go through this thing as well. But well, not in Belgium exactly. But well, I'm Julia, so Julia. 
but because it's uh, Julia and my in, in Latvian it spells Julija. So when I first when I went to a GP first and it was like uh, Julija, I was not even reacting because I didn't even recognize my name. It was like Julija, <laughs> who is oh, it's me. <laughs> so I, I definitely understand. And now I also uh, just not to confuse people. I always say Julia. Uh, they ask Julia or Julia. Yeah. Speak an option. <laughs> so, yeah, so I hear you. I think when you're foreigner, this happens quite. But to be honest, I'm happy. So, and sometimes also some people started to call me Maila, Mayela. It didn't sound like me, but Mayel, I'm okay with it. So I decided, right, this is Mayel for dancing and Mael for the rest of my life. But now it's kind of confusing everyone because no one knows how to spell my name. But yeah, both go. Both is okay. So. <laughs> Okay, so at least you're not getting a kind of angry. No, 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 I'm not. Name, which is good because I was like, oh, what should I do now when I was doing the, the graphics? Like, oh, what should I type? How should I write? Oh, yeah, I know. Well, well, both works, works okay, so it's you know? okay. But usually for the dancing, I tend to use okay. my yell just because it's easy. Everyone to type and to, to remember is just easier. Okay. So that's Makes why. Sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so. Very like common question. How did you start it? Where did you find ballet dance? Um, and, uh, so I started belly dance uh, because I always loved dancing, but dancing was sh socially. Um, I didn't have a background of dancing before, actually before I started belly dance. Uh, now that I think about it, I used to be a rhythmic gymnast as a kid and um, I would do all, I would, uh, I was in a musical for children from a very, very young age. I think I started when I was four years old. Um, so I did that as a child. Um, and then when I was, it was like when I was a teenager that I decided to go to a lesson, like to a belly dance class, I would dance socially with my friends and, but it wasn't like a, a proper class. It was just social uh, dancing. Um, so I think, yeah, it, uh, um, one of my friends actually said one day to me, oh, there is, I saw just an advertising and, uh, at that time I had no money at all. I was a student, uh, and I thought, and she was like, oh, the first class is free. We should just go for fun. Let's just go and, uh, let's have one hour of good time and that's it. And I went there and I, I booked the whole course for the, and I never stopped. That was it. So I just wanted to go for a free class of belly dancing and I, that was it. I fell in love completely. And um, it, it was not much before and after that. Like, yeah, it was zero. like, yeah, yeah cause I just wanted to go for a fun hour with my friend. I didn't realize that that would be it for me. And uh, so my teacher, uh, she's called Aida and she's from Arras, from where I'm from in France, the north of France. Um, and yeah, she, she was very inspiring lady. Um, she, um, she, her style is very balletic. Um, so I started with that. I got a lot okay. from her with that style. Uh, she's very graceful and very beautiful dancer. So yeah, I, I started with her and yeah, she was very inspiring. Oh, okay. Can I say that all these long lines and beautiful legs? All Actually, from her, from no, her I think she was balletic, but not in that sense. I think more in a, in a Samya Gamal way. You see, still very um, Egyptian in the way she would dance. I think this is actually coming from my uh, gymnastic backgrounds, all the, the flexibility and uh, the leg work and and I've done ballet also, but later in life, not as a child. So I I, I got that from ballet classes. So, so you had other dance styles. So the dance in rhythmic gymnastics is also of course a, a lot of requires a lot of training. But exactly like dance styles, what kind of dance styles you had? So it was a ballet. What I have a, what have I done? Or, I mean, um, yeah. It, okay. Other dance yes, yeah, so I have done else, yeah I have done ballet, but later in life, and before doing belly dancing, uh, with, uh, well, before starting that class, as a kid I did street dance, I did contemporary style, 
um i did even a bit of salsa i tried everything to be i did a lot of i always love dancing so that was my thing so can you can you say that all of these dance styles they really help you develop as a ballet dancer or no i think Maybe that's up to, to be honest i think practice. if you start too young in a style it will leave a lot of um uh it will leave uh how can i put it it will leave a lot of um influence in your dancing and sometimes it's quite hard to get away from it you see what well, if you have a for example the habit that i had with gymnastics it took me a while to get rid of them uh, i looked to gymnasty you see what i mean it's difficult to get rid of stuff that you have learned as a child because your body knows it so well that it doesn't recognize that sometimes it's too you can't change but all the dance style that i've done later in life i've been able to control them more like for example ballet i've done ballet later in life and now i'm i think i'm in a position to choose uh what i want to use what doesn't suit my body or it's like i'm more i understand better my body and i'm more aware of uh the styles and stuff so yes i know yeah. in a way um oh. everything you do helps you everything you do in life uh is going to determine who you're going to be not just in dancing so your childhood uh so everything has an impact of who you become and which kind of dancer you become makes sense yeah absolutely i i would like to jump then from a uh, kind of from this topic to a little bit different but let me know if uh, you feel confused or something please. i just wanted to say it in the beginning before we continue with any other conversation so feel free to let's say uh kind of go away from to questions that you don't like it's absolutely okay yeah so why i'm asking this Are you doing anything else besides ballet dancing or this is only one job that you do ah, right now besides being mom? So at the moment right oh, now I or... just do belly dancing. Uh since Alma was born so Alma she my little daughter she's uh, two and a half she's going to be three in January. Um before her I used to teach French. I was my daytime job was French teacher. So I would teach French. and but then when she was born i decided not to go to start again with the teaching because at that time i was i felt i was busy with dancing anyway uh, i was uh, during the day i would i was looking after alma and then night time i would go out and perform and uh i was teaching my classes also so i felt i was busy um and i didn't need to get back to french teaching but maybe after this crazy time I don't know maybe I will need to get back to teaching French I'm not sure but at the moment I just do the dancing that that's an in- yeah. yeah that's an interesting question because of why I asked this as well uh now in these times right now what's happening uh all belly dancers really feel very confused and I hear that from all different sides of the world that everyone is searching for yeah. other jobs right now so or they coming back to something that they had before or they're focused on something else and i only wanted to ask you as well um another question even if there would be no coronavirus right now do you think a ballet dancer can survive let's say in london which is considered one of the most expensive countries here but just doing ballet dance so just ballet dancing it can be teaching it can be performances it can be it's like everything around Do you think it's possible? I think or... it depends because everyone is sure, different. Sure. It depends on how much you need to earn, how much if you want to do that full time, it's a lot of pressure. If you to I think what I've realized is when your passion becomes your job, it becomes uh it takes away a little bit of the magic of it. You see what I mean? It kind of you lose because yeah, you get the pressure of making yeah. something out of it. So it's good because it it pushes you to to do more and to but at the same times it sometimes you, you it's like a love affair sometimes it's just too much and you don't want to do it anymore and it becomes stressful. So I think yeah uh, yeah if you yeah I don't know everyone is different and I know some girls they do that forever and I think for me I would always dance I would, I can't see myself stopping dancing. I mean whatever happens I will always dance. then as a professional i don't know this will be depending on opportunities 
on uh, things like I don't know how. Yeah, it will depend. You, you never stop, um, right? <laughs> You yeah, I think it it's so it's a matter of or, like or, or I need my think? fix. It's like a drug. Like if I don't dance for a long period of time, I don't feel like myself anymore. It's I know it's a bit of a cliche, but it is true that it's kind of like my yeah, it's part of my life. And if I don't do it for too long, then it doesn't feel mm -hmm. yeah, it doesn't feel right. So yeah, absolutely, I definitely understand what you're saying. So when at some point, I'm sure everyone feels like a little bit down. Uh, oh, I will not do it anymore. And then, bam, at some point, we just gain the energy and we come back because we understand we cannot live without it. So I think this is it. Sometimes I will be looking that way because I just want to make okay. sure that I ask all the questions. So sorry about that. So I am, yeah. So, so you were born in UK or not? Sorry for that um, question, but it depends. No, <laughs> no, I'm born, I was born in France. In France, yeah, just to make sure. So were you also teaching in France? Or no, I, I, when I was in France, I, I just was, I was a, t a student. Um, and I was uh, actually a student in, at uni also. I was, teach, I was learning, uh, I was going to become a French and Spanish teacher in France. And um, mm. I wasn't thinking about becoming a belly dancer. That wasn't like my goal. No. <laughs> It's just I was in love with that dance. I, I really <laughs> all, straight away fell in love with belly dancing, and but it wasn't my goal. And then I moved to London, and this is when I become. Uh, I started first by dancing in the restaurants, and then I did uh, teacher training, the Jawa teacher training, and I started to teach later on. Yeah. So, uh, though you you were a student there, so can we try to uh, maybe? Uh, compare the belly dance attitude or maybe belly dance scene in France and UK. Do you see a difference there, or there's like? Oh, uh, it's very different. I find. No I yeah, it is very different. Uh, in France, then. I have no, the feeling that uh, in France everything is so serious. <laughs> so even I mean, when you do belly dancing as a hobby, it's very different. It's very. Uh, serious, very, very serious. And uh, I think here too, we, we have lots of lovely, serious teachers. And But um, I have the feeling that, um, yeah, uh, in France, it's like really probably more organized, I would say. It, it's more, yeah. And it's also what I like mm -hmm. in a way about London and UK, it's that uh, it's, when you start you you find the doors open faster i had the feeling for me when i moved in uk in london um in france is very there is the hierarchy you know like you start you are a student and then you have to be uh, the assistant so you have to be the one the assistant of your teacher um to become maybe one day the teacher who is going to take after her you know so it's like takes forever it's very hard very very hard to 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 find your place i would say actually start doing hi hey, sarah hi sarah oh, sarah's sarah. here saying sometimes hi to to somebody yeah yeah good so uh okay so um i <laughs> lost the, the idea ah yes so uh would you say that in france it's a little bit more strict and here's more like, I don't, I don't want to use word relax. Yeah, it's yeah, more community oriented. I think people are more welcoming, I would say, here. I was really very touched about, and yeah, talking about community, and we see Sarah here, <laughs> which was, the, which is like when I started, when I moved to London, uh, I remember she would uh, organize uh, her Arabic nights. And uh, so, yeah, the community, I don't know if you got that feeling that yeah, yeah, yeah. it's on and off, like there are periods where the community is more or less uh, together, but I, I have the feeling still that it is much more stronger than in, in France, much, much stronger. Because in France, you go to your teacher, you stay with your teacher, and that's it, there is so much happening. Um, yeah, here, I think there is a, a bigger sense of community for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you know, you already mentioned about Javad training. So, um, how did you decide to go uh, like for teacher training? Was it like, okay, I really want to do it and do it as a, my job, or you just? Uh, to be uh, honest, oh, okay, yeah. To be honest, it started oh. because I was curious, and because of the, the training, I wanted to know more. And in the teacher training, they teach you about history, about musicality. I did it for because it took me two years to complete that training. Um, I <laughs> it took me two years. Yeah, no, but I <laughs> think yeah. Um, it it takes it took me two years to complete that training. So it was quite full on, really, really full on. And um, so I didn't do it just because I wanted to teach straight away. I did it to learn because it was really yeah. It's there's a lot of information there. And then when I finish it, I thought, okay, so I've done that. Uh, I spent some money on it. I just made as well start teaching. <laughs> so yeah, that's how. Yeah, I did, um, were you traveling to Egypt as well? And how did you? I mean, was it a shock for you maybe at some point that? Because I don't know how about you, but I I feel the difference when you go to Egypt. Hey, hey, station. <laughs> when you go to Egypt, uh, it's like completely different world, and then the Baldam, you kind of feel the Baldam scene there. Is a yeah, I think world. everywhere yeah. you go, it's a yeah. different yeah. scene. It's a completely different scene. So it's a different yeah. world. Yeah, it is. I agree. Right. I agree. That, that, that's interesting to know, by the way. That um, Okay, so where you were teaching in London before the lockdown? Was it yeah, teaching I was in teaching London at the place. Um, so, you know, uh, near between Houston and uh, King's Cross. So I was teaching there. I was very lucky because uh, actually Joe Wise, uh, who was my teacher before, and uh, she just decided to retire and she had that slot at the place. So it's difficult to get like a regular slot there, uh, but just just pass it on to me. So in fact, this is like it happens in France now that I'm saying that it's very different here, but I got lucky that I got that slot because uh, it's very, it was very easy for everyone to join in. It's very central, so yeah. So how did you start it there? Because the place is really yeah. No, actually, I didn't start. Really no, I didn't start it there. I started in a gym. Um, I was teaching on a, on Friday. Okay. I just set up my little class, like it was um in the city, uh, Liverpool streets, on Friday night. Um, and I just went to every gym, and I just said, okay, do you have this lot, or are you do, are you looking for a belly dance class? And they all say. Um, not really, but you can pay the studio and we can have you if you want to. <laughs> so, um, and all of the time it was very expensive, the studio. So I thought, okay, but that one place, actually it was a fitness first, uh, in, uh, in, uh, Liverpool street. And they actually were really nice. They said, okay, because you're starting, we're going to give you the studio free for one month, which was very kind of them. And they promoted me. Yeah. They even Amazing. did like one day where. I performed in the gym, so I brought my costume and just performed. It was very awkward. It was very strange, wow, I have to say. It was very dangerous. awkward. That's... But, uh, yeah, they were very helpful in yeah. like this. So I started like that. And, um, yeah, at the beginning it was difficult. Uh, when you start a class, uh, it's very hard to make a name. And people, if they don't see you dancing, it's hard for them to, to commit. But uh, little by little. I built, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I built my students and yeah. So when you started teaching in place, uh, was it hard for you to actually, first of all, when it happened, so when you, kind of, you went there and second question, was it easy for you to um, get people and how was the, the competition there? Did you feel it? Um, so actually, actually like, the the place, place, I think it was a long time after, it was uh, a few years after I, did, I taught in that place in the city. So I already had built a little bit of my um, student base. Um, so these ladies, they followed me. And uh, also I realized that I was teaching on a Friday night, which was the worst day to teach because people want to go out. So, but in the studio, that was the only night they had free of course. Who wants to teach on a Friday night? Um, and because they were 
exactly mm-hmm. but because they were so nice with me and they said oh you can have the first one for free i thought i'll keep that studio they are so good to me but yeah as soon as i moved to the place uh it was much better because it was on a tuesday night so tuesday is good and it was very central very very well known so it was very easy for for everyone to to find so Actually I found that it was more difficult at the, when I wasn't teaching at the place it was harder to uh to get the students but then when I started to teach at the place it was easier people it was I had I was more I had more experience also but I think the venue is important when it's essential and it makes a big difference oh that's, that's absolutely yeah so if somebody will listen to to us and thinking which day to choose Don't fall for the trick to teach on Friday. So I am I will be teaching on Friday right now as well. But no yeah. no nowadays it doesn't matter. I teach a class on a Saturday during the day and I would never do that but it's just because like yeah at the moment there is no rule anymore so yeah. This time we we live in the new normal so this is very hard to understand what's going to work now. So yeah but before Fridays are one of the worst days that's not true. Okay. So, um, yeah, another very interesting question for me, at least. I really want to know the answer. So I don't know if you heard about that, but um, many people really believe in dancers themselves that uh, you, are, you are a good dancer or you are a good teacher. So it's very hard to combine being a dancer and a teacher. And even I can say a harder one that me personally, this phrase really hurt me. So... Teachers are failed dancers. <laughs> so, do you agree? Do you okay, disagree? so Let's I know, think I it's two different skills. This is true, that uh, it's two jobs, yeah? It's a different job. Although when you teach, you're performing still. I think it's still a performing job when you teach, but it's two different. Uh, it requires two skills that are very, very different. So, yes. I agree that if you are an excellent and amazing dancer it doesn't mean you're going to be a good teacher and vice versa so yeah um as for me I think I started be- being a better dancer than a teacher um although I've been teaching all my life teaching is was my first job and before even I was a professional dancer I was a French teacher so teaching is my job so I'm used to teach But I think, yeah, um, yeah. yeah I, I somehow at the beginning, I, I, I really find that I was struggling, maybe because of the language also. Um, because when you dance, you don't have to talk, right? When you teach, of course, you have to break down the rules, you have to do the vocabulary, you have to be very precise of how you, you, you say, explain, you have to understand everyone's psychology and how they learn. And so it's very, yeah. So I think he, uh, yeah, I'm still training in both, in dancing and teaching, and I take tips from here and there. And But yeah, I agree that uh, it's a different skill. Then I think if you commit yourself to that you want to be a good teacher, it's the same as if you want to be a good dancer, you're going to work on, but you need to work on it in the same way because, yeah, it's the two different skills. So, yeah. So, yes, I know, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, I agree with you. But where do you, let's say, um, well, how to think of an example, but let's say where do you get more happy feelings or happiness when you're dancing, performing, or when you're teaching? Or that's completely different. Uh, yeah, oh, for perform. me it's, it's easy. Different. It's when I perform. That's for sure. I'm a performer. I mean, okay. I'm a teacher too. <laughs> that I, I love to teach and I love to share. But for me, teaching is a, is like, is a job. Um, I do it seriously and I take it very, uh, I try to do as, as the best that, that I can, but it requires me work and I, have, I plan mm-hmm. things and dancing, especially on the stage or even in the best chance, uh, to me is a pleasure. It's really something that's, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. So, so you get yeah, so I think yeah I love teaching okay, really do uh, yeah. and I'm very grateful for the the, the the my students and it but it challenges me more in a sense that I I, I yeah I work, I put more work into the teaching I find it's less it doesn't come uh, as naturally I would say 
as easy as, as I mean, as when, when I dance, dancing, it's not right? easy also because, <laughs> yeah, there's always like, there's always a, a struggle or always something. But um, I, I, I find myself putting more work into the teaching than into the performing. I put more time preparing and uh, can I say that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yes. That's anyway. Both of them need preparing. So that's yeah. But I wanted to ask you. Uh, so is it that why? Because um, I saw you in many, many different dance projects. So is it because of this? So because you really enjoy the performance. Uh, so you're trying to get engaged <laughs> everywhere, or, or I don't know. To it? be honest, it's like a lot of projects, and uh, yeah, and maybe there, I there. don't know. Um, I think um, oh, I think Rosie is here. Hi, Rosie. Talking about projects, uh, we were together on a project mm -hmm. uh, with us again. So yeah, no, I think uh, I say yes to every not every opportunity, but as soon as the opportunity talks to me and. I'm I'm excited. I get very easily excited. So if a project sounds good to me and I know that I'm going to learn new things and I'm going to get the opportunity to perform and uh, yeah, I, I usually go for it. So yeah, especially before I had the baby, I have to say <laughs> now these days I've changed. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, I've changed a lot actually. And be be before and, it was the lockdown. And before the lockdown. And because of the lockdown. No, we can yes, talk definitely. About yeah. We're going to talk about the baby for sure, because this is also in my, in my question list. So um, also now, um, yeah, about the baby, by the way, let's go into that topic. So, oh, I'm sure it's hard. Yeah, not everyone, uh, especially that visible as yourself, uh, could make that decision to, um, yeah, to kind of leave everything at some point and become a mom, especially when you have a career and you're well known. And just, okay, that's it. I'm going to just leave it for a certain period of time. And so how did you, the question is, how, how did you survive all of this? Are you still surviving it? And now it's not only the baby. <laughs> See by your face. Oh, no. <laughs> Please no, I mean, yeah, no, I hear you. I'm, I don't even know if I'm surviving or not. It's like I take one day. I used to make projects. Now it's like every day. Okay, right. What is on the list today? And that's it. I've survived the day. And then, okay, go to bed. And tomorrow is another day. So, no, I think um, you know what it is like. And I think unless you have a baby, you, 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 don't re you can't know what it is to have a baby and to, to have a career. But lots of women uh, do it. Um, but it doesn't mean that it's easy, it's very difficult. And uh, also when you see on social media, or it doesn't reflect the reality of what it is like to, to be able to, I mean, to, I'm lucky that my husband um, takes over because that was the deal. Uh, if we had kids uh, that, are gonna, whatever happens, in, he knows that, that when he always knew that uh, I come with the dancing, there's no me without it. So. This is the deal. If I, <laughs> I, I need to, it. yeah. So that's the deal. That this is my time. I need to to have that time for myself. And um, I think it makes me a better mom uh, if I'm able to to do what makes me happy. So yeah. And I think I, I it's difficult. Um, before I had the luxury of not of deciding when I wanted to do things and saying yes to everything that was exciting. Now I have to be more. Yeah, I have to be more strict with myself and um, mm -hmm. I have to say no sometimes. I learn to say no and I learn to to prioritize. Like sometimes, yeah, she is the number one priority. So, so that, that was actually part of my question because um, so if you have, if you got used to many projects and being active in Baladam world, which we know that you can never stop. You can just start from the morning. It's it starts from yeah. social media, videos, learning, and just never-ending process. So now, um, after so many projects, and suddenly no projects, oh, yeah, and then is tough. Yeah. this virus as well adds on on top. So how are you feeling now? How are you feeling um, Yeah, with all this? Because it's just literally not that easy um, to handle. Yeah, think, to be honest, I, I try but not to... Yeah. I try to keep go. I think keeping busy is my way of hiding. I've always been like this, of uh, hiding 
but it's not healthy it's not a good thing to do but uh when i keep busy or if i keep dancing it's kind of like okay i can go through this i go through everything in life uh with dancing so this is one of the this craziness at the moment is like okay it's another another crazy thing it's life is throwing at me okay we get we, we get through it um but it is tough like i i miss so much performing and also for my child uh, i'm worried about her i'm worried that she's missing out uh on everything that she used to do before and and she's a lot at home with me and i don't think it's healthy for her either and uh, so i think it is difficult uh for myself and also for mom uh for my daunting self and for my mom self uh i want so yeah it's quite a tricky tricky time Sorry. Jenya, go and dance. Go and dance and show the video after that. Sorry? <laughs> you are doing this. This is a uh, comment for This is comment for Evgenia. <laughs> she comment down so she has a comment there that she is oh. <laughs> inspiring her to dance. Oh, she so, used, she's such a beautiful dancer herself. Jenya, she's go such and an dance. amazing multi-talented lady herself. That's true. Absolutely. Very talented. Yeah. Hello. So okay, yeah. Uh, going back. To the, <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. You love the super positivity. Yes, we're trying to. Otherwise, it's very hard. You know. At least. Yeah, we have to. to um, everyone is like, different, oh. but I try to. But to be honest, since I've become a mom, I've neglect, neglected some stuff that I didn't. I'm not able to do as much as before. And for example, the social media, I find it very challenging. <laughs> and. Uh, and it is important oh, these yeah. days I'm especially when you are in performing arts visual arts it's it's very important to be able to do that but sometimes it's just like I, i'm like okay but well, this week i'm not going to post a one before i would like okay this week i need to do something maybe a nice video or share a bit of my class or now i'm like i can't be bothered it's just like there's so much going on that is like yeah so it's yeah I I I I saw your recent video where you were dancing and then I was thinking something dropped just right now on the background and yeah. then your husband came in and I was like that's just your goal, you see you know? typical <laughs> this is like exactly so now I don't try to <laughs> reach any perfection or before I was because I'm a Virgo also so this is my pattern I'm such a perfectionist I like things <laughs> to be exactly the way they should be and um i would never before have posted a video like this you know with like the baby in the background and the husband is coming <laughs> exactly so i would never but now it's like you know what this is my life so if you don't like it don't follow me or don't like me this is just the way i am i i can't be bothered to to yeah it's just i've changed in that way i think now No, maybe is... this is just getting older i don't know it's just like no, this, is... this is what it is you take it or you go <laughs> no but that's true that, you know when i was watching i was like at some point like oh, that's my life too you know that's my that's me is all you know because when i'm shooting the video Always. something happens something is falling down something is like <laughs> hair is here and know? before <laughs> i would i would be doing like, the yeah, same thing what... like so many times to get the perfect capture and but actually it's like the justice doesn't reflect the real the real life and now i just like so yeah it's it's i've changed in that way i think becoming a mom you become more real and uh, yeah it changes that for sure and like you said it teaches you to yeah. prioritize so you kind of push um yeah. the boundaries yeah. a little bit i think um yes that's true yeah absolutely that was fun okay so one more question no more question actually sorry I, i will be always checking just to make sure that i'm not yes yeah, so be. <laughs> okay so you already mentioned about <laughs> you already mentioned about your husband so but when you met yeah. if that's okay to us how was his uh, what was his reaction so it's you saying well actually i'm a ballet dancer so, so it's going to be funny because i met that? him before i was the, i met him in high school so so basically it's it's kind of a, when i started belly dancing um it was about at the same time that i met him so it's kind of at the beginning it was mm-hmm. just a hobby so it was like oh yeah she 
participate. I've always done, always danced anyway. If I didn't do video dance, I would. I, I was doing street dance. So, so I would always do something as like for my hobby, and uh, and then it become more serious. And then, to be honest, he kind of pushed me into it because uh, he moved to London for work, and he said to me. Um, would you come with me to live in London? And I was like, oh, no, I'm just studying and I'm going to become a teacher and I don't think like, this is right for me. I don't even speak English. I didn't speak a word of English when I moved. And said, so, yeah, but you love Belidon so much. I hear there is so much Belidon things to do in London. And uh, he booked me a workshop with Osam Ramsey um, to make me come. <laughs> oh, okay. So I was like, okay, I'll come for the workshop and then I'll go back to France. And uh, yeah, and actually, I never went back. So I think now he kind of regretted because so it's taking <laughs> so much of my life. But yeah, so it's kind of yeah. He 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 has always been supportive um, of the dance, and I, I think now this oh, day he doesn't great. really care too much. Like he doesn't. I can you see like the other day I was dancing in the living room and with my costume just before the half light was. With my costume, he doesn't even care. Like I'm wearing a costume, I don't. It's just like he doesn't even care anymore. But at least he's supportive, so that's good. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> yeah, even I watch. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. <laughs> well, how you will he eat my food? Exactly, like typical. <laughs> like typical. He doesn't really. Yeah. So, but he's supportive and he's doing a lot for the little know. one. So I think yeah, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful. Ah, so he's getting his writing. So he was, uh, he was. Driving, yeah, and now I think he, he might regret it a little bit Ramsey. because it's taken so much, too much, like of my <laughs> life, taken over so. Much. He didn't realize he was going to come to that stage. I think, but yeah, but I think he understands. Yeah, what is coming? What is coming? <laughs> okay, well, and uh, how about your? Uh, so I mean, so your husband was supportive. So can we say that all your family members were supportive? Um, of that, I think. Or... I think I come like from a family where dancing and music is a positive thing. Um, everyone loves music and dancing. Um, and I don't think my parents, they wanted me to become a dancer. Uh, but they, they always knew that I was... I started like to ask my mom to go to this music. I wanted to do this musical when I was four years old and I always wanted to be on the stage and I always, so they, they, it was never a surprise when I told, and I've, yeah, I've always done something related to music or dance or performing. So when I told them, oh, I want to be a belly dancer, I want to yeah, be a dancer yeah. or a belly dancer, they didn't really react like they were not too surprised. They were just like, oh, but make sure you earn enough money like you know as parents do they were like oh make sure you keep your teaching job your french teaching job because this is a bit uncertain and you don't so yeah they were i'm lucky also in that way that they, they, they were worried. supportive and yeah okay so yes yeah, i'm just checking that you answered already some of my next questions that's why i'm just gonna pass them okay so uh yeah, I saw that, so obviously you had just recently this uh, online hustle. How did you decided to try it? So this was not your first one, right? So yeah, so this was the third three, one. Three, three, and three. Um, yeah. it yeah. became, we, we started to do it because of my students. Uh, because usually, you know, after each term, we would just go out um, and have dinner together and catch up and have fun. Uh, and uh, sometimes we go and with some of my students, we would go to, some of them, they come to my gig sometimes and just, we are together and then a bit of dancing and, and social, yeah, social Enjoying. catch up and stuff. So, because obviously we couldn't do that with the coronavirus, all the classes have been moving online and yeah, uh, yeah I wanted them to keep uh, dancing, to keep the party going. And so that's why we decided to do the first one. The first one, most of the performers were actually my students. Uh, I didn't have many professional. Um, it was just really for them. Uh, that was why we did it, the first one, really for them. Um, and then because everyone had fun and 
they asked they were asking to do it again and so that's why really uh i started for them to join in and to mm -hmm. but um did you did you actually lose a couple of uh, like people how did they react um, on you moving online i were think we had no i start i i kept teaching until the government said uh that it wasn't allowed anymore so i think no one had the choice. It wasn't the choice yeah. from me, for them. So obviously everyone wanted to keep going to classes, but we had no choice. Um, so everyone was very, very, very supportive. Uh, they wanted to keep dancing. Also, they needed that for their sanity. So, yeah, I think they were very, they were really willing yeah, to keep course. going. So, because I thought at the beginning, oh, that's it, I'm going to just cancel the class and but they really wanted to keep going. And the, at the beginning, I started Zoom. Oh my gosh, it was a disaster. The sound didn't work. Uh, the, I started with a different platform, actually, than Zoom. It was horrible. Like the, It was f freezing every two seconds. Couldn't hear the music. And yeah, so I thought, oh, this is not for me. But they were like, no, 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 you're going to... They were searching on Google how to, to, to check how to make the sound work. And so... They were really willing to continue. They wanted to to keep going. So such a good support. Yeah, very supportive, and too. I'm grateful so for good. that because yeah. if I didn't have that, I think I would have gone crazy because everything changed so brutally. Like from one day we were out about and party, going to my gigs and out. You don't even realize just to go out to grab a coffee and go in the tube and. I miss every little thing like this. So at least the fact that I was, I knew every week at the same time I would see uh, the family of faces of my student. That was like, kept me going. So yeah, I think that was great that we were able to do that. Um, I wanted also to ask you a question um, back, um, like question about the child and uh, the baladon. So, I think this question didn't come from me, so that's why I didn't read it from the beginning because I completely forgot. So the question is, how do um, how do you find like? Well, we all know that bodies change after giving birth. Yeah. Well, yeah. So how did you find it? Like the the change, the process of it. So you change, and did you notice that maybe you have now less gigs, or I mean as a performer maybe you have less clients who will ask to dance because they know that you had a baby did you have like this experience or this all is fake and stuff changes and people continue kind of or uh, inviting you to dance for them for their big restaurants and performances no Sorry, i just no, jumped like that no, no, yes. because I, I just realized um, i forgot to ask this question so i think uh I think, yeah, the body goes through crazy, crazy changes. That is definitely for sure. And you never regain your body. It has gone through such a massive uh, change that the way you, at the end of it, even though I, I find that I, it's not a matter of weight. Uh, I think I'm the same weight as before baby. But your body is different. Your hips, my hips are wider. It's just a different uh, thing. So it is a massive change. For gigging, um, I've performed, and I've performed uh, until my belly was really showing when I was pregnant. I performed uh, in the restaurants, I think, until I was maybe four months pregnant, or maybe a little bit more. I did. I wasn't showing for a very long time, and then suddenly it went boom. <laughs> and this is, I think. No one never said anything to me, never said anything to me, but I could feel sometimes it was making people uncomfortable to watch when you, if you are pregnant and belly yeah. dancing, although you know your body, although you're a professional dancer, you, of course, you would never take a risk or do anything that doesn't make you feel or your baby safe. But I think people worry. They, they find like they, they worry that this is not good for your baby. You're going to enjoy your baby. So I think, yeah, I could feel that as soon as my baby showed, people were a bit uh, uh, uncomfortable. But no one said anything to me. In the restaurant where I were, I decided when my baby, I went on holiday, and when I came back, my baby was, like, massive. And this is when I officially said, mm -hmm. like, okay, I'm pregnant. 
and they never said to me yeah because they no one would ask me but I'm, i'm sure they 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 were wondering something is different but they never really say anything to me but uh, when i said it uh and i said that i'm going to take some time off coming and so they didn't say anything but one place uh the owner um he said to me oh actually you could keep performing because it's a pregnant woman is actually uh the journey of a woman and this is what belly dance is about so i was very impressed oh. and i was very yeah, like yeah especially it's not yeah. easiest if he's i don't know i don't think he's watching right now but if he is watching he will know that uh he's not the easiest guy to work with and um and so yeah, yeah. i was surprised in a good way that he said that but uh i i know that the the, the people that were watching the show um yeah some of them he made them very uncomfortable for the community is different but for people but, if you come um, in the restaurant they are expecting a certain body type um they expecting something yeah, absolutely and this is what, what uh, yeah this is what i wanted to ask so um because um i also i was i think i was like i also didn't experience that but i know that some people uh experience some other ladies they did so uh when you I remember even one lady told me that uh, we were dancing with her and she said to me, if you're going to get pregnant, never admit it until you kind of, yeah. oh, like, it's really shown. And never admit after your, you, your baby was born and you're back to the shape, let's say. Never say to anyone, to any rest really? of the owners, that you are a mom. Oh. Because if you put them all... Oh, that was yeah, your question. That's why you asked, that like, ah, uh, oh, that's what you meant. Ah, I didn't yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, it was very interesting information anyway because but I Oh, yeah, I this see. Is what I was um, kind of everyone knew. To, uh, so everyone knew experience? that I, I was a mom. I don't think I had that problem. And let, the only thing though is one of the owner he said to me uh now that you are a mom, I'm going to have to find a second dancer to cover for you in case you can't do because you're going to be busy and I said, "Yeah, but well, I can handle it. I can find my cover." He said, "No, no, no, no." Are you a mom? I need to have another dancer. If I call her, she comes. Okay. That was the one. I think it's it's oh, that okay. I, I might become less reliable now that I am a mom. But yeah, more, yeah. yeah. And That's maybe I don't know, maybe it was right in the sense that uh, so many times I I find I had to find cover because uh because I had to stay home with the little one. My life changed completely. So yeah. Kind of true. But yeah, no, otherwise, I don't know. But Everyone you, knew, so yeah, I don't think I Yeah, 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 that uh, that, that, that that of course you cannot hide it. This is how it goes. Um but also regarding the ballad on scene. So, um did you have an experience, let's say when you're going to a gig and you're dancing? Uh well, you have a lot of experience obviously. How could you re- um, describe this ballad and scene in London, this nightlife, I would say? Um, because for me, why I'm asking this question? For me, when I came here, it was a little bit of sh- shock because in my country, we don't have that many restaurants to dance. So that's why I was not prepared for that. So my, my, my reaction was just interesting. But you, you came from France. I'm sure you have as many shisha places as here. <laughs> so you, you like as many restaurants. So uh, did you see any difference in the in the environment, in night environment for ballet dancers here. And how would you describe it? And has, can you even maybe remember a moment when you were feeling uncomfortable or no, I will not dance here and you walked away? Or um, so yeah. actually from where I come from in France, it's not a big town. Um, so, and because I wasn't a professional then I was, I would sometimes dance in restaurant to cover my teacher, but that was like, maybe it happened twice. So it was very rare. Um, so I don't have a very good knowledge of how it is in France. I can't compare so much, but so I've only worked in London professionally. Uh, so I can't really compare to France for that. Um, but yeah, I know the, yeah, there are places where you Oh, and you don't feel comfortable. Um, I think there is no right or wrong. There, 
there is a style for everyone. So some places are going to great for some type of dancers. Some places are better for others. So I don't know. I think um, it's quite difficult to to know. But did you ever experience um, a place not paying you, or I don't know, or I don't know, rejecting you in last moment? Um, I what I like, sometimes what I felt I felt unsafe in some places where I was going, especially if I go on my own late at night, and uh, you have to. It was not in the place itself, but it was more uh, the, where it was. I had to walk a lot by myself, and but then when I came, it was just men in a shisha place, and. At that time, I was like, okay, um, I'm not going to go back there. And uh, it didn't feel safe. I've, I've, I've performed in places, sometimes shisha places, also with lots of men. But it's a different vibe. It's the vibe. Um, yeah, that place, um, I didn't feel safe. And okay. yeah, so there is a lot of places like this, I think, in London. But uh, then, uh, yeah, it's uh, up to us to choose, I guess. Yeah, it's an experience. But, so, uh, yeah, I like family okay. places, like family yeah. vibes. Sometimes, in, in fact, it happened to oh. me in the past that uh, I some when I was with my friends, sometimes I, I, I would bring Alma with me to the gigs. And uh, so just mm. like because it's family places, but, it's, I would never bring her in the shisha place. So yeah. I would never bring her in a nightclub. Of or, course, but right. family restaurants. Um, yeah, so I like that. I like family places. I think I'm more that type of dancer, but everyone is different. Oh. So there's no right or wrong. I just think for me, uh, I like family places. Yeah. What, by the way, about family. So let's say um, uh, Alma in like, I don't know, 12, 14 years will come to you. Mommy, I want to be a ballet dancer. I what said, don't, I would say, like don't, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> no, uh, I, <laughs> over my dead body <laughs> no it's not an easy job um and yeah like you said there are places sometimes and lots of people still don't understand what it is about uh so either they don't respect you or, or they don't understand you so especially if you perform professionally not for the community most of the time people don't understand what it is about or if you perform for an arabic audience they will understand, which is nice. Uh, if you get to perform for Arabic people, um, they understand. So they understand the dance, they understand the vibe, they understand. Um, but uh, it is not always the case. And uh, so it's hard to, it is hard to be a belly dancer. And it is very competitive, very, very competitive. And you don't, you, you don't, you're not going to become rich. Uh, you're not going to become famous. Also, it's not like a, a job that you want your daughter to do. But if she really wants to do it, I will do everything I can to help her. I will teach her everything I have, and I will make sure she she she's the best that she can be. So everything she wants to do, if she want to become a plumber, if she want whatever she wants to do, uh, as long as she's good at what yeah, she yeah, does, yeah, yeah, yeah. then okay. But uh, I will. I will never want um, her to become a belly dancer. But if she wants to be there, um, Mael, Mael, I will stop now. But we please let's reconnect because now okay. the now should at some point stop it because it's only one hour. But let's start again because I have a little bit more. Like okay, 10, okay, see you in a bit. It, okay, yeah, okay. Let's reconnect. Yeah. Okay, so a couple of more questions left. Yeah, so uh, I really hope, yeah. Hi, hi. So I just need to, yes, that's it. Will be working now. So just a couple of more questions. Um, okay. Hi again. <laughs> yes, so again, yes. Uh, like I said, a little bit of uh, uh, more questions. Just we, we actually covered almost everything. Just the end, basically left. Yeah. So one more question. So uh, about the um, restaurants. Um, so 
are you changing? You just mentioned why I'm, I'm, I'm asking this question because you mentioned as well that you are uh, sometimes dancing. Well, we all are dancing for different audience all the time. So yeah. it might be Arab audience, those people who understand belly dance. It might be more Western audience who are not so interested and they just, well, they have certain expectations of you. So uh, the question is, are you actually adjusting your program when you see or when you know who is your audience? And yes, the how, what exactly you are performing them? Definitely. That's why I always look for, I don't even have a good uh, iPod. I use a very old, old phone, a Samsung that has like maybe 10 years. Uh, it's really old, but I know that I can switch uh, my playlist on the night. Like I can easily do it with my hand and so basically, I come in the room, sometimes you have no idea uh, you, and they just, um, you don't know. And then you see, it's just Arabic people. So then I feel like, okay, I'm going to put my songs. Like, oh, you change. Of course you adapt. If this is going to be a Western audience, I'm going to do something more. Um, I will use more props, um, a little bit more Western influence. So yeah, I try to because, yeah. I try to adapt. Turkish I know <laughs> Turkish. Yeah, Turkish. I try to. Yeah, it's not. Uh, I'm not the best with the. I I know a little bit of Turkish style that I learned with Özgen. Um, but uh, yeah, I try to adapt. I try to put. I, I try to make the audience happy. I think. Uh, yeah, as a as a as a performer, you want to. And, and I try to speak the language, if that makes sense. Yeah, because mm -hmm. to me, like when when you perform, you tell a story, right? Even when you come in a restaurant, or and and you translate the music. Your job as a performer is to translate the music. So I just try to to get the right language for each uh, audience. Yeah? yeah. So yeah, definitely, okay. I would uh, I yeah, adapt as much so, as I can. Uh, what are your, if I might ask, what are your future plans for you in ballet dance world? So are you having any, like, any know, thoughts? I know that it's very hard to answer right now because yeah. it's not happen. But is so, there a certain goal? Yeah, so um, to be honest, at the moment, like you said, it's very, very difficult to project uh, yourself. I don't even know how my classes are going to get back into the studio at the moment the place message me and they say they can't have more than six people in the studio so it's very i don't know um how things are going to go uh, but in in my dream world uh, what i would really like is i would love to get back to teaching in the studio and um and hopefully i have this because i have some students that couldn't come to my classes because they didn't live in they don't live in london so now the good news is they can come to class. So hopefully I will um, keep this Zoom uh, classes going on. I will stream from the studio, uh, but I really want to get back in the studio. And what I really want to focus on, I think it's theater. I really love uh, theater work. And um, as soon as this, this is what I miss the most, even more than the, the, the gigs, I really miss dancing on the theater, the dance project. Uh, this okay. is what I really love. This so as soon as this is crazy, uh, keep an eye. Uh, we're gonna, yes, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do will. that. I want to do something uh, theatrical, and I want to keep this half offline. I want to take it offline. So I want to oh, yeah. do a party with hopefully live music. Uh, I think people need that. Really need something like this. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I want to do, have lots of projects. The problem is because I do nothing at the, I mean, not that I do nothing, but because I don't do so much because uh, I'm home, I have all of these projects and I feel like I need to, to do something. So hopefully when this is over, uh, there will be a lot that we can do uh, for the community. And so hopefully, yeah, for hopefully sure, we can work together sure. again uh, yeah. when this is all finished. Yeah, yeah. Um. So another question that we are quite slowly approaching to the main one. So what would you say to yourself um, uh, when you just started ballet dancing? So let's say if you had this opportunity right now, so you would meet yourself. I don't know how old you were there. So let's say 10 years old. <laughs> or uh, uh, No, I was a bit older. But... Yeah. So, uh, I mean, you could meet yourself and say, listen, this and this will happen with you. What would you say to yourself? 
yourself? Like what, what advice you would say to yourself regarding volleyball? Um, if I, yeah, to, yeah, when you start belly dance, I, I, I think I would, uh, I think I would tell myself uh, that there is no such thing as perfection and um, that, yeah, they, it doesn't exist because um, I spend too much time in my life uh, trying to to be perfect and trying to but there's no such thing so I think I would tell myself to relax a little bit more and to enjoy the moment and uh, to let go yeah to, to let go and to let go of perfection because there's no such thing at all okay. yeah so the last one the most important question so what is ballet dance for you to you what does it mean ballet dance What does that mean? What does belly dance mean for me, for right? So what it means for you, yeah. Yeah, um, I think it's, like I said, uh, it's it's a really part of me. I just cannot not have it in my life. Um, it's it's my way, of, it's my therapy. Uh, I don't take drugs. I don't uh, talk to a, a psychologue. Uh, so everyone has their own therapy. My therapy is belly dance. Uh, it releases every tension that I have, every every emotion. I put it into the dance, and then it's like I give it to the audience, and it's like deal with my problem. Especially theater. Deal with it. <laughs> yeah, uh, theater dance is the best because uh, I really feel that every how I, I feel, I can express myself, and it's. And the audience is there to take it. Like, so it's, yeah, the audience is like my uh, psychologue, actually. It's like, take my problem, take my, my sadness, take my happiness, take everything. So, yeah, it's, it's my therapy, really. It's my therapy. Oh. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mahel. Thank you. So we, and even I was really focused focused on time not to get too too long but oh that's you, fine i'm okay <laughs> yeah no yeah it's fine it's fine i'm not uh Sorry about i'm that, not but it's it no it's good yeah, well thank you, you so sharing. much for having me thank you so much oh, for having yeah. me uh it's really interesting to to get I'm to sure ask the be question more, because more sometimes people... you mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah No, I'm just. No, I, I I I noticed that there is a delay now, um, uh, but I'm sure there will be more people watching. So uh, definitely, and um, now we could at least understand a little bit more about Maya, which is amazing. Well, Very thank you for having me, and um, and uh, yeah, it's interesting because sometimes you get to ask questions you don't really think about it. You just and then you think, oh yeah, actually this thing that. So it's quite interesting. So thank you, thank you for You're having welcome. me. Yay. So and one day we're going to have to do an interview about you one day. Ah, we have to yeah. best. I, I need to finish the round with, I, I was thinking maybe to call it like a UK Belladon superstars, you know, like an asking, because I'm really kind of enjoying talking with them. And, and this is actually, to be honest with you, one of the best way, uh, ways how to meet and properly talk. Because if we even meet somewhere, it's usually like brrr, everyone is running around. You have no time to talk. And it is true. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying this because I talk with you. I enjoy uh, <laughs> Janie. Uh, <laughs> wait, I have to finish with everyone. <laughs> and then and, it's uh, you. Yeah. And, and then, then it's me. Yeah, because yeah. I really no, but it is true that we see each other quite often at events. So. But we never get time to or a chance to Absolutely. actually know each other that well. So yeah, it is a And great you know what I noticed? Playing. That though ballet dance, well, everyone says, oh, ballet dance, what can you do there? You can just ballet dance and perform. But the thing is that each ballet dancer that I ask, and I ask like similar questions some, at some point, everyone has different dreams and everyone has a different yeah. goal. Like you said, it's theatrical, you know? Uh, some, some Other people were thinking about maybe movies, Uh, some some people just want to have their own dance to just so everyone has different goals yeah. which is so interesting and it's like yeah everyone has nice. a different journey and yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely so yeah so thank you so much for that i'll let you go and i'm sure thank that you people will watch later yeah bye thank bye you so bye. much for having me have a good night bye thank bye. you bye